hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Pele and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that icon notification bell and then like this video leave a comment leave any suggestion that you want leave anything that you want me to cover if I haven't covered it yet and I always appreciate the feedback and if anything I need to approve so for today's video we're gonna be focusing on the Gantt chart with Excel I'm using Excel 365 this is the newest version if you have the oldest version it would work the same way but if you have the, the new version as well it's gonna be working also this way. so today's video is not gonna be too uh, long it's gonna be a short one so the first thing we're gonna do is we have to have our data so I have my data here where we're gonna put on the chart now the second thing is uh, we're gonna go to the insert button so if you insert is not automatically selected it's just going to be on the top menu here so you uh, by default it might be at home you can go select insert and then from the chart box here you we're gonna choose this one here which says the insert column or the bar chart and then from here you can choose whichever you want you can choose the 2d uh, column the 3d column or you can go with the uh, the 2d column or the 3d column so the first thing i made a mistake uh, sorry so we're not going to select the data first so we're going to leave it blank we're just going to select outside and we're going to go back and then i'm going to use the 3d bar but as i said you can choose whichever one you want here it's going to work the same so for me i'm going to choose this one the middle of the 3d bar and then we're going to get this blank box so the next thing we want to do i'm going to just extend this a little bit okay so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to right click inside so if it doesn't work if it only show you that just right click again or once this one is selected we can go on the top here you can click select data or when you right click you can go also here select the, the data okay it's gonna work the same then from the box that's gonna pop up we are going to go on legend entries we're gonna click add and then from here we're gonna first select our dates okay and then this on the series val values that's where we're gonna put our dates the range of the dates here so i'm gonna select all of them and then i'm gonna click ok and then after that we click ok again now we need to enter this one and this one so we're gonna do the same thing as well we can go up here click on select data or as advice we can click inside the box right click inside the box and then go to select data okay and we're gonna do the same thing as well so we're gonna click add and then select now we're gonna select this to complete and then from the series values we're going to select from all our days to complete and then we're gonna click ok now this time instead of clicking ok right away we're gonna have to add our task column as well so how we're gonna do it is under horizontal category axis labels we're gonna click edit and then from here we're gonna select from task 1 to task 10 as i have here but if you have more you select all of them you click ok now we can go ahead and click ok okay so this doesn't mean our chart is already done because the first thing is the date as we can see it's not correct and then the tasks are also reversed so we want to start with the one on the top and then the 10 will be at the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the task box here right click and then click on format access so once we click that this window will pop up here on the right then we're gonna go under access position we're gonna check the categories in reverse order so once we click that we're gonna notice that this is going are gonna go on the top but at the same time also our task uh, bar is also uh, fixed so we start now one on the top and then 10 at the bottom now we can go ahead close this now with the dates we also still have a problem here because as you can see we still on the February uh, December uh, and then the dates are not correct so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna select the blue here right click click on format data series and then from here uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the bucket here click it and then under fill we're gonna just select no fill so it's gonna remove those uh, blue bar so if I go oh it's gonna give us another color but we don't want that so we're gonna 
we'll remove that so now we only have these uh, yeah, yellow uh, bars left so we're gonna close this now to fix the date what we're gonna do is we first going to select one of the dates under the column here we're gonna copy it so Control c and then paste it on an empty uh, cell so i'm gonna now we want to turn this date into a numeric number so how we can do it is once we paste it here on an empty cell we're gonna go here click here then we're gonna select number so this will give us a numeric number now what we want to do we're gonna go here on the top on the date select it right click then click format axis now once we do that this window will pop up again now on the axis position bounds we're gonna enter this amount here that we have the 29th of January we're gonna turn it into we're gonna put it here so we're gonna remove this number here and then we're gonna put it to so 44955 and then just click enter so what it's gonna do is it's gonna put our date in the right uh, based on what we had it on the, the table so now we have the 29th of, the, of January and then it's so on, continue like that. So we can close this. So at this time, this is what pretty much our charts are that we can do. So this is the chart. If I select it, this is what we can do. But there is another thing we can customize our charts because this one is, looks okay, but it doesn't look pretty. We don't have a title, the text are all like not big and all of that. So how we can fix this? Once we select our chart, we can go on chart design. Okay. In older version, I believe this one will only say design, but this one is a chart design. Now, on chart style, we can change the style of our uh, charts here. So if I hover my mouse here, you can see we have it in like background is black now, black, brown, something. We can pretty much choose whichever we want. So for me, I prefer this one because here, yeah. and then don't worry, the blue uh, bars also pops out again. We can remove it again the same way. So select it, right click, form a data series, go to uh, the bucket and then just select no fill. It's going to automatically remove it. Okay. Now, if we want to add a title on this one here, we can select it and then go back here and from the add chart element if we select it if we go on chart that title we can add the title above so it says here above chart uh, or center that can put in the center but we want on the top so and then here to modify or edit the text we can just select it or double click inside the box it's going to select the text and then i can just put let's say uh, gain chart excel t tor and then there we go we have our title here if we want i can also change the color so by just selecting the box this one will pop but if it doesn't pop by any for any reason once you select it you can just also right click inside it and then go to format chart title then it's gonna pop up that and then we can add the color so we can let's say change it to a uh, yellow uh, we can put green whichever title we want we can even go to the gradient field and then put it in a different so let's say i go with this one here and let's say i'm gonna put this in center and we can play with the colors so you see i'm moving here on the gradient stop i can move i can change this one it's the same thing if I want to add the a title. So let's say to specify this side here is uh, for ta uh, tasks. I can go back here on add uh, chart element and then go to access title. Uh, let's say I go here, uh, primary vertical. So it's gonna add. So you see once I click, it's gonna add uh, this text here. So I can double select it. Let's say, let's say task, okay. And then there we go i can also edit it the same way so once you select it if that uh, window don't pop up just right click go to format uh, access title and then i can add a color 
a solid color i can add a gradient or i can even add a picture uh picture uh, or texture so if you want me to go more into details about like how i can like play with it you can just let me know in the comment and i'll do another tutorial where i can show you all these uh functions here the last thing before i let you guys go it will be the quick layout so the quick layout what it does is once I select it, I have different types. So I can go select different type of layout that I want on my chart. So for example, if I want to put the dates to be there, or if I want it to be like this, I can choose that. So actually this one looks pretty good. Yeah, I like this one. Cause you see the dates are on top and here, and it gives you this 3D something. So it's based on you, it's what you want to do, how you want to play with, uh, with this. So guys, this is how you make again chart if you want me to create another one maybe with more modification play with the more function please leave the comment below i'll make another video for you but as of today thank you very much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like the video and don't forget to hit that notification icon uh notification icon sorry so you don't miss any new video that i post thank you for watching and i hope i'll see you soon